Hello guys! Ngayon ay ipakikita natin kung paano gamitin ang application ng that product in solving problems that deals with the magnitude of a vector along a specified direction. Kaya guys, minsan pa isamanin nyo ako upang ating pag-aralan kung paano ito gamitin sa problem na ito. Guys, ito yung problem. According to the problem, we are required to find the magnitude of the force F acting from D towards A that will have a component of 100 pounds along DB. So kung titinan natin guys ang ating uh, problem, illustration, ganito yun ano? So, meron ditong isang boom na ang haba ay uh, 9 feet and this boom is supported at point D by two cables. One cable runs from D towards A and the other cable from D towards B. The position of A and B are indicated by the given dimensions here. So, according to the problem, we are required to find for the magnitude of this force that acts directed from D towards A when this force has a magnitude along this direction from D towards B of okay, a magnitude equal to 100. And so, in order to solve for this problem, let us try to go back to the basic step by defining what are the given. So, in this problem, we are given the component of F along dB, the component of this magnitude along this line, and whose magnitude is 100. And so, here is the magnitude of the component. And we are required here to find for the magnitude of F, this force, okay, so that this would have a magnitude or a component along the line dB having a magnitude of 100 pounds. So, kung ating pag-aaralan guys, we have here actually a force system in space. So, para mas madali natin maunawaan siya, let us imagine that this point C is the origin of the Cartesian space so that this C would have a coordinate equal to 0, 0, 0. If this will be our origin, then all the points A, B, uh, D, and E can be given their respective coordinates. Let us now try to look at the coordinate of point A. If point A is here, its coordinate would be, okay, 0, 7, and 3 because it is measuring 7 feet along, okay, the direction of the positive Y and 3 feet along the direction of the positive, okay, Z axis. While point B would have a coordinate of, okay, 0, 5, and 4. 0 because it is lying on this plane, on this YZ plane. And 5 because it is located 5 above the Z axis. And negative 4 because it is directed towards the negative Z axis, this direction. So if we wanted, we can also get the, the coordinate of point D and point E. Thus, that point D would have a coordinate of 0, 0, while that uh, point E would have a coordinate of 9, 0, 0. So, let us recall, okay, guys, the definition and the application of the dot product. Alam natin na yung dot product ay ginagamit sa pagdetermine ng magnitude ng component ng force or ng vector along a specified direction. And it says here that, okay, the component of a vector along a line of a specified direction is the dot product of the vector and the direction of the line expressed as a unit vector. So if we will be writing that in symbol, we say that, okay, the parallel component of F along DB, 
This is read as the parallel component of F along DB is equal to the dot product of F and the direction of the line DB. We will let this as our equation. Let us identify what is F and what is this N of DB. In this equation, we know that F is the force that is expressed in vectorial form. It must be expressed as the product of the magnitude and the direction of that vector. So it should be equal to the product of the magnitude of N and the magnitude of F and the direction of that force. But we know that F is directed along the line DA. Along DA then, we say that the direction of the force F is also equal to the direction of the line DA. So that we can also say that F is equal to the product of F sub M times the direction of the line DA because DA lies or F lies along the direction of DA. Hence, the direction of F is also equal to the direction of DA. And this N of B, N of DB, is the direction of the line where the component of F is given, which is equal to 100 pounds. This is the direction of this line, D towards B. And so, we say that we're going to compute it uh, one by one. We can start with case solving for the direction of the line DB. How are we going to get the direction of this line DB? We have already discussed and we recall, we may recall that the direction of the line DB is equal to x sub DB times i plus y DB times j plus z DB times k divided by the distance between the point D and B. So if we will be substituting the solving for x, y, and z component of the distance db, then let's do it one by one. So we can compute that x of db is equal to the x component of b minus the x component of d. That is actually the co coordinate of a determinal point of the line minus the initial point of the line. If the force starts from d directed towards b, therefore this b is the terminal point and D shall be considered as the initial point. Hence, the coordinate, X coordinate or X component of DB will be 0 minus 6 and that would give us a value of negative 6. Similarly, we can solve for Y of DB and Y of DB will be the Y coordinate of B minus the Y coordinate of D and that is equal to 5 minus 0 and this will give us a value of 5. Similarly, we can also compute for the Z K of DB, and that is the Z component of B, which is negative 4, minus the Z component of D, which is 0, and that is equal to a negative 4 minus 0, and that is equal to negative 4. Now, from this X, Y, and Z component of the points, the distance between D and B, we can compute for the distance between the two points, and that is equal to a the square root of negative 6 squared plus 5 squared plus negative 4 squared and this when simplified will give us k the square root of 77. Therefore, the direction of the line db when substituted with its value will be equal to negative 6i plus 5j minus 4k over the square root of 77. Now let us move to the direction of the line where F is directed, which is the line DA. Okay? Since F is directed along the line DA, then we compute for the direction of this DA. And DA is equal to X of DA times I plus Y of DA times J plus Z sub DA times K divided by the distance between D and A. Where x of dA will be the x component of A 
minus the x component of d, and that is equal to 0 minus 6, that gives us a negative 6. y sub dA will be 7 minus 0, and that gives us 7. And z of dA will be 3 minus 0, that gives us 3. So from here, we can compute for okay, the distance between d and a, which is equal to negative 6 squared plus 7 squared plus 3 squared, and that gives us the square root of 94. And again, if all of this shall be substituted here, we can compute for the direction of the line dA. Thus, direction of the line dA is equal to negative 6i plus 7j plus 3k divided by the square root of 94. After we have computed for this direction dA, we can now express f in vectorial form as the product of the magnitude multiplied by its direction. Therefore, since f is equal to f sub m times dA, therefore we can substitute this with this value. Hence, f now cannot be expressed as f sub m times negative 6 sub i, 6i plus 7j plus 3k over the square root of 94. Now, after that, what shall we do? So, if we're going to go back to the equation 1, and when we substitute the values, then it is what will happen. So, let us go back. Our equation 1 is equal to the parallel component of f along the, di along the line db is equal to f dot n of db. Where, in this case, we are given f parallel to b, which is equal to 100 pounds. We already have expressed f as k f sub m times the quantity negative 6i plus 7j plus 3k divided by the square root of 94. And we know that n of db was already, is already taken at negative 6i plus 5j minus 4k over the square root of 77. Now, if all of this, all of this will be substituted in that formula, then we shall have here the value. So you have 100 shall be equal to f sub m times this quantity that this quantity. Now simplifying, we shall have f m shall be equal to 6 times 6 that is that comes from this multiplied by that plus 7 multiplied by this plus 3 multiplied by negative 4 divided by the square root of 94 times 77. Then simplifying, we shall have this magnitude so that f sub m shall be equal to 144.1973 pounds. Guys, hope you are able to follow the application of the dot product. At sana ay natutunan nyo kung paano siya gamitin. At kung meron kayong katanungan guys, okay, huwag kayong mahiya na mag-post ng comment at sana huwag niyong kalimutan na isubscribe itong channel ko so that when I upload my next video, you will be notified of my okay, video presentation. Once again guys, thank you for watching.